Hey guys, today I have a really special treat for you. I'm partnering with Odang Udon to show you how to make fresh udon noodles. This is Ben and Matt, and hey guys. Hello. Hey. hey, so how'd you guys get started with this? So Matt and I grew up together and had always wanted to start a business together and found that in San Francisco, there wasn't a really great place to get fresh udon noodles. A place in Hawaii inspired us to want to make a, an udon concept kitchen that we put in a food truck here in San Francisco so that fresh udon could be served in numerous types of ways, not just traditional Japanese, but with Korean and Chinese influences too. And we've turned this into a bit of a fusion concept. We're hoping that our noodles catch on so well in San Francisco so that we could be called the best no best noodle in the Bay Area. Amazing. The best udon noodle in the Bay Area. Number one noodle. That's right. Who doesn't love fresh noodles? I know I do. And I love that they add stuff like kimchi, pulgogi into their udon, like really non-traditional stuff that makes it really interesting. So guys, first of all, what is udon noodles for those of you that don't know? And second of all, what makes a good udon noodle? Udon is a thick, high gluten wheat noodle that's got a very, fairly simple structure, but an age old tradition. And a lot of the magic in what makes a fresh udon noodle great is the pressure that's applied when preparing the dough. And when that happens, you're, you're beating down those protein structures, the high gluten structure, so that it's gonna wanna bounce back when you cook it. Oh, wow. And that's, that's sort of what in, in, in intrigues people when they first eat fresh udon. They say, wow, this is really bouncy. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's got a bounce to it when you bite down. And that, that first chew um, for, for us is sort of that aha moment. It's like, oh, this is better than that store-bought stuff or that, uh, you know, that plastic uh, right. freeze wrap of udon that you're used to eating. That just kind of breaks apart when you make them. I hate that. Yeah. So. It's not soggy, it's bouncy. Yeah. You'll notice our noodles are a lot, a lot thicker than ramen noodles. If you haven't had udon noodles, they're a lot different. Uh, I suggest you come, come, to, come on down and try them. What's your most popular dish and what are you making for us today? So it's actually one and the same. Okay. Our most popular dish is what we call the city bowl. And it's a lot like a Korean bibimbap, but without the rice. So we put in fresh noodles underneath. So you've got a thin sliced beef, bulgogi beef, that we prepare with garlic uh, and a little bit of ginger in the sauce, a secret homemade sauce. And then there's fresh kimchi that we layer in there. We have julienne uh, cucumbers that are thinly sliced, fresh, as well as some fresh black sesame seed on top. And then you've got a fried egg on top of everything. A little bit more of the sauce that we've made, we call it city sauce. Green onion, Green onion on top, and there you go. Delicious. This is a really cool food truck park. Like, how did you guys get here, and what is this place? The Soma Street Food Park is a collection of some of the best food trucks in San Francisco. Uh, it's become a really interactive space where they have DJs, fun events, hosted parties, private parties, and a lot of other things that happen that not only bring people that want to eat, but folks that just want to have a good time. I love that there's like a school bus back there that they turned into like this cafe. It's so neat. Thank you so much for watching another episode and thanks to Odang Udon for showing us how to make your incredible udon. It's delicious. So make sure you guys come to check it out. We're here at Soma Street Food Park, 11 to 3 and 5 to 9, Tuesday through Sunday. And uh, it's at 428 11th Street in San Francisco. Soma Street Food Park, come on by.